Hello and welcome back everyone to the next episode on Anubhav Learning Series. In our last episode, we talked about how to connect our business application studio system to SAP S4 HANA. In our today's episode, we will learn if you are using VS Code environment, how can you connect VS Code environment to your company S4 HANA system? So, first of all, need to understand that it is not mandatory or there is no requirement to have a cloud connector to connect your VS Code environment to S4 HANA system. It's not required anything because VS Code is actually running in our local machine. It's a completely local machine tool and you can utilize VS Code directly to connect to your company S4 HANA system. But before that, basically, if you are using your company or office laptop, you need to first use VPN connectivity to connect to your company S4 HANA system. Yes. And then you need to make sure this connectivity is working fine. In addition to that, you need to also test in your local browser the O data service calls are going to the S4 HANA or not after VPN connectivity. So once these two things are checked, you do not need any additional setting to connect VS Code to your company S4 HANA system. So the VS Code environment would directly be able to connect to your company system. There is no need of cloud connector. So let us go ahead and see the first two steps and then we will learn how to use step three to maintain a connection to connect to our S4 HANA system. So I will switch over back to my browser and I will just show you one of the OData service which I had built previously in our training. You can see this is the OData service and it is connecting to my company S4 HANA system, s4dev.st.com with this port number correctly. So if this output is working fine, which means we are connected to VPN and our S4 HANA system is responding to the OData call. The same information now can be utilized to connect to the S4 HANA system. So to be able to do that, we're going to switch over back to VS Code. And over here, I'm just going to create a new project from template. So make sure that you have also went to the extensions and you have already installed the theory extension pack already in your VS Code environment. So this is also the second prerequisite. So first prerequisite is the OData service of your S4 system has to run in the browser. And the second is you have already installed the Puri extension pack in the VS Code. Now you can go to view, find command palette and choose Puri application generator. And then we will also create a basic Fury app out of the box using this approach. So I'm going to come create a worklist Fury app, click next button. And now you see it asks for data source. So we choose connect to a system. And then we will choose here a new system. And we will choose the system type as about on premise system. And now we put the details of our SAP system. So I will first of all put the URL, which I will copy from the browser. And then we'll put client of our ABAP S4 HANA system. I will enter the user ID and password. And now click on the login button. So this is the place or this is how you can quickly connect directly from VS Code and the connection will be amazingly fast. You see the system has been added. So next time what happens is if you uh, if you try to uh, see the existing systems in the drop down, the system will appear over here because you have already added that system previously. Yes. Now we can choose this service. So our service name is this one. I copy and paste. I select our OData service and then we can quickly go ahead and say next button. Yes. And now I can just also choose a navigation property if I want. I give the project name test. S4 VS Code, test VS Code connection, S4, and we can give namespace from Anubal Trainings. I can say Anubal Trainings, Fury Course, and we can just finish. So this will now start creating our Fury project 
in our local machine and you will see in just about few seconds the project will get created and generated with the connectivity so as a result of that you can see our test s4 vs code app was generated this is a fury element app so it will have all the necessary annotations and it is installing the ui5 tooling components as part of our fury project yes so that way we can quickly generate our vs code uh, application in the vs code for fury connecting to our real s4 hana system and next time onwards if you want to do connectivity the system will automatically show you added in the list because we already connected so that is a very simple and easy process without any kind of cloud connector you can directly connect now in case you are using our training system which we provide to you please we would request you to use ip address instead of the host name so instead of this host name s4st.com kindly request you to please use the ip address yes ip address of our server so that is the recommendation from my side please do use ip address instead of the host name so please make sure that first you test the url in the browser only then you copy the url from here otherwise you will have issues so you can see the app is generated we can now preview our application directly in the browser in our local machine so that is the way you can quickly connect uh, the s4 hana training system also from the vs code environment so you can see now it is just starting to launch our application it's a work list kind of application which we built so it should show me all the list of products oh, yes so that is what the system is doing you can just show the network calls which it is sending to our server and they should work fine let's go and check that so i just come down to check the batch call you can see it is making the batch call to fetch our product details and it has also got this call successful even the metadata call is successful so of course i have not done the uh, correct display of properties so i can choose i want to show description name price yes and then it also shows the data in the work list makes sense so that is how we can quickly create a application in vs code development environment connecting to our s4 hana system so i hope you enjoyed the video for more interesting videos like this please feel free to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon do not forget to also join our telegram channel on the latest updates of this video and content for detailed training on ui5 btp fury cds views mdps workflows btp workflows hybrid application development feel free to join our website anubavtrainings.com thank you so much once again and i will see you in the next class